Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to fill in the gaps of a table when you have something like this where you have uh, the name and you have these empty blanks and you have uh, months and some sales here. Let's say for example you wanted to kind of copy this name all the way down. Basically something like this would happen when someone uh, gives you a uh, table with this data from another source or maybe someone created a pivot table and didn't have the option to go ahead and fill in the blanks here and just copy and pasted it into another worksheet and sent it to you. And you want to be able to uh, fill this out so you can be able to uh, do some f further analysis because you can't really do analysis when uh, the names here, uh, they don't match up here. There's no values in here that would match up here. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You may think, oh, I can just do a control C to copy, select that, control V to paste. Uh, and that will work if you have a small table. There's another way to do it also. You can go ahead and click the fill handle down here and just drag it down and it fills out the name too. And that can work uh, but these are for small tables if you had a large table let's say this was a hundred rows maybe 200 rows or 500 rows you don't want to be doing that all the time let me go ahead and control Z to undo this so basically there is an easier way to do this and what you can do is you can select this cell and you kind of select all the way down and what you can do is go under the home tab go under find and select click go to and what you want to do is click the special button and then go to the blanks and click OK. And so what it's going to do is it's selecting all the blanks in that particular uh, column selection. And what you want to do is you, you have the first blank here and what you want to do is type equal and then the, the cell above it. So what's going to happen right here is you're going to press a, a special keyboard combination, control enter. So what it's going to do is it's going to fill out that blank row with the value from uh, or the, the value or content from what was above. So this one, since I'm in A3, it's going to fill out whatever was in A2. Uh, whatever's in A4, it's going to fill out whatever's in A3. But you need to press Control Enter and it's going to fill it all out. So you can see how this makes it a little bit easier and a little bit quicker when you do it this way. Basically selecting the blanks and pressing Control Enter. So if you have 100 rows, 200 rows, 500 rows, this makes it much easier than copying and pasting or clicking the fill handle. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.